investor sentiments at Nigeria's equities markets have been mixed this week. Oisi Ajayi, team lead research at ARM, joins me now to discuss the outlook for the markets. Oisi, thank you so much for your time. Um, I did mention that it has been mixed, but clearly we have seen a pretty decent performance over the last couple of weeks. The year-to-date decline is down to, I think, just about less than 2%. Um, but what's, what do you make of the market's recent performance? Well, thank you for having me this afternoon. Um, it's clear sentiment um, in the market is mixed. Um, we've seen a lot of yo-yo movements um, in the market over the last couple of weeks, although most of um, the movements are tilted to the positive side, like you said. Uh, market gained um, about 0.32% today, um, you know, easing the um, the negative year-to-date return um, even for the uh, year-to-date return probably sits somewhere around 1.5, 1.6%. Um, um, if you look at prices in the market, um, you find that most of the activity we've witnessed um, have predominantly been on the small caps. And that's why even though we've seen a lot of activity in the market over the last couple of weeks, the uh, market still has not turned positive yet because um, a lot of activity has been you know, um, tilted towards uh, small cap stocks who have not exactly been able to move um, the market with um, the uh, required view um, that you know, we don't like to see. What's your rating of the macro story for Nigeria in the second half of the year? Because we're hearing about the eurobond issue, we're hearing about some improvement in the, in the forex markets. Do you think that story is, has improved? And if so, how do you see it impacting the market outlook? I mean, well, the, I mean, if you, if you look at, um, if you consider all the macros uh, or a number of macros, um, you find that Nigeria is um, relatively is in a relatively better position than it was um, a few months back. Um, inflation numbers were released yesterday. Inflation has eased to about seventeen point three percent. With you know growth has been um, frail, even though um, I mean or, or, I mean considering what um, we saw um, for the first quarter of, of, of the year, it has been frail. But I mean, it's growth um, regardless coming from um, the recessionary period in twenty twenty. Um, there's been some relative stability in the FX market as well, um, on both uh, on both the parallel market and uh, even with um, the, the official rates um, trading somewhere between four ten and, and four thirteen since uh, its um, devaluation in in May. So I mean, if you consider all of those macros, um, the relative improvements here and there, but um, I, I, will I it translate think, to a better um, outlook for the markets, though, for the equities market? So it's still very, it's still very dicey. Um, if you look at the composition of our movers and shakers in the market right now, it's predominantly domestic investors, right? Foreign investors have, you know, sort of stayed away from the market since um, 2020. Um, as at May, participation was um, tilted in favor of domestic participants about 79, 21, 21 favoring um, foreign participants. So it's a question of whether or not um, domestic investors are going to consider. Uh, the, the relative improvements in, 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 in macros or not. Um, if you, Another thing you would want to consider again is the fact that we're in an earnings season, right? Um, ordinarily, you'd have expected that with um, the generally impressive results that have come out so far, uh, markets would have been in a, in a better position than it currently is, but the reaction has still been lukewarm. And if it, over, over the last um, couple of, of months, the reaction, has, the reaction to um, improvements in the macros as well have not exactly been um, strong or, or favorable per se. Right. Um, so it's, it's, it's still very, very dicey um, to, to call. Right, so let's Although add... the expectation is, you know, that um, you know, um, well, there will be some um, turnaround or some relocation of assets back into the equities market, you know, sometime um, in, in, in the rest of the year. All right. Unfortunately,